let's take a look at our traditional mark in, mark out workflow. We're going to work with output B and we're going to put it in the live mode and we're going to start our recording and we're ready to set an endpoint. And if I hit the endpoint, I can continue to hit the endpoint over and over again until I actually get one that I like. I'll let this play unfold. Here he comes, running, running. Oh, big hit. And we're going to hit mark out. Now, as soon as you hit clip list, the angle that you were looking at is queued up on that clip. You can hold down the angle button and you can choose a different angle for playback. Normally, you're going to want a close up for your playback, not a wide shot. To start this playing, you can ramp down to zero and then ramp up like a gas pedal and watch the play unfold. Now again, with instant replay and slow motion, that's not the best shot that we have. So maybe we want a different camera angle. Shift angle one will play back camera angle one from that camera angle in its entirety. And shift angle two will play back from that camera angle in its entirety. And you can grab the T-bar and slow this action down as well at any point in time. So if you're just trying to see all the camera angles from uh, the full play from each of the camera angles, that's a great workflow. Now, let's go back to live mode and let's capture a clip in a different workflow. We're going to use our mark out workflow and we're going to make sure under options that one button marking is set to four seconds. We s we're going to wait for our action to start happening on output B, so we'll let this play pass. And now we're ready for our mark out only. Now again, this workflow works better for sports like, say, basketball or uh, volleyball, where the magic moment or the action isn't always determinable. So one, two, three, mark out. Jumps back four seconds in time, creates a replay for me. Okay, replay ready. Go to the clip list, and you've got that replay ready to go. Here it is. Now you can see that that endpoint was not exactly what I wanted it to be, and it's only a four second clip. So we're just playing out beyond the out point using our out point padding. And if I want to make that the actual out point, hit shift out. I now have a clip with its correct in point and out point. Now, that in point wasn't the best either, and I can just put move the wheel all the way back to the in point and start it a little bit before the in point. Right there is where I want my in point. Shift in, and I now have that clip marked as an in and an out point ready to go. Again, if you want to see multiple camera angles during the playback, we're in clipless mode. We're going to ramp down. We're going to ramp up. And as it's playing, you can hold down the angle button. You can switch between your different camera angles. Camera two, camera three, back to camera two, and back to camera one. Another workflow for us is going to be our mark in workflow. Again, I'm going to choose a camera angle that I want to work with as my starting angle. We'll go with camera angle two as my starting angle. We've got our kickoff happening, and I'm just going to hit a mark in. And the play is running. And at this point, before the play is even done, I can say replay ready. And I hit clip list, and I'm ready to play that back, but there's no out point on it. We start playing it back. It's going to play forever. There's no out point until we find our out point. And then once we're done and we're off camera, we can stop that and hit shift out and complete that clip as well. So mark in, mark out, mark out only to go back and create a mark in, mark in only to go back later and create that mark out. Now, another way to create that event, let's go back to the live mode, is just to do delayed playback. So we watch the play start. We don't mark an in or an out. We just twist the wheel back a quarter turn. We can then cue it up to the end point, and we're ready for playback. But remember, there's no event here. You could just hit the play button and start playing that event back. But you don't have an event to go back to at all. If you want an event, get to the end point and hit shift in. That's going to create an end point. Then you play the event back. The director's watching the game. He's watching the event play. OK, we're out of replay. We stop the replay and we hit shift out, and that gives us our out point. So we actually have that as an event now here in our event list to come back to. Uh, if you don't mark that in an out point, if you just twist the wheel a quarter turn, play, stop, there's no event to go back to whatsoever. Now, if you did want to get back to that event, but you didn't want to actually have an event, let's go back to live. I can hit bookmark, and bookmark just bookmarked the beginning of that play for me. 
So at this point, if I hit shift and bookmark, it's going to jump me back right to the beginning of that play. Now again, you've got 10 of those bookmarks. And again, you can refer back to the training on exactly how bookmarks work. But that's another way of grabbing a piece of action, being able to get back to it very quickly. Now we're back in the live mode. Now we've got all these ways of creating these events. What do we do about playing them back? Well, we've got our events down here. We've got our camera angles that we're dealing with once we're in the clip list. So again, let's go back to the live mode here and we're watching this play unfold in front of us. You know what, we didn't catch all the action. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit a quarter turn. We're gonna go all the way back to the beginning of that play right here. We're gonna hit shift, mark in, and we're gonna hit play. And we're gonna watch this play unfold. But it goes to a camera angle. Let's go to camera angle one. Now we can actually see the play happening. And we can see the end of the play here. There it is. Once the play is done, you can hit shift, out point and you've got that event ready to go as well even though we didn't mark it in when it started now we can go back and we can play that event in its entirety from any camera angle again hold down the angle button and you can use the numeric keypad to go to the different camera angles during playback cutting between them live now we have our multi view set up so that we can see these camera angles we're going to hit stop stop and replay that but you could also see the camera angles that you're cutting to right here on the main interface just by setting up your show clip list angle previews. And again, now, if you play that event back, you can see all of the camera angles and you know what you're jumping to when you make that jump to camera angle two, to camera angle three. You've got those beautiful previews down there showing you exactly what the action is that you're looking at as you're jumping to it.